today I'm going to be showing you the new Garmin Drive Assist 51 uh, LMT HD, which I had for about two years. I got it in October, in the beginning of November of 2020. And you can see here it is. This is a wonderful little GPS that we got. It is a little bit on the pricey side. Um, $2.99 if you buy it brand new. But what we did, we got it for $79.99 on eBay from GPS City. Um, if it's still like there on eBay, I'm going to put a link in the description where you can buy it. I don't think it would be the same price. It would probably be like a higher price since, you know, um, the prices are going up everywhere. But you can see this is it right here. It works perfectly. It's a perfect GPS if you travel a lot. And it's like, it has free maps. So if you, if the GPS, if Garmin GPSs have anything saying LM, that means it has lifetime free maps. So you can download any map for free. Um, I think it's uh, North America and Canada and Mexico. I'm not sure if it's Mexico, but you can see it's here. So, you can do view map, and this is actually not my location right now. It is actually the GPS uh, simulator, so if you like think it's my location, that's not where I live. I live very far from here, but um, you can see this is what, this is, this is the main interface, you can see. The main thing about this GPS is that it has a dash cam at the back so right here this is what it looks like and you can remove this thing too right here is your dash cam and it records this micro sd card which is actually pretty cool and then the wire that i have it connected and then garmin at the back which is actually pretty cool but this thing's battery life is not great at all especially if you still if you keep it in the hot sun when you're out, when and when you're not driving the car, you, this thing's battery life is very bad. So, yeah. Okay, so this is the power button right here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you some settings. This is like a all tutorial video. So here we are. Settings right here. You can see where it says you have all these settings. I'm just doing like a brief or like a, just like a little go over with it. You can see all these cool things you have here. Updates, you can, because this thing is actually connected to Wi-Fi, you can see here. And then it also connects to your phone with the Garmin uh, uh, SmartLink and Drive app. Garmin Drive and Garmin SmartLink. Which is actually pretty cool. And you go to updates. So there we are. So we get we get uh, notifications here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna disable Bluetooth so I don't get those notifications. All right, there we go. All right. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna settings. First thing you have is updates. You can check for updates over the Wi-Fi or you can connect it to your computer and download Garmin um, Garmin I think it's called Garmin Express yeah and that will um, do it but Wi-Fi is the easiest one for me to do there you are and then you have map and vehicle so vehicle icon to show on map you can even download more maps on Garmin um, on the Garmin Express app but we keep it at that then you have driving map view, 3D, north up. This is very confusing. I recommend 3D or track up and track up and then 3D, which is what we use. Map detail, less, normal. You can see like the map changes, normal or more. We always keep it at more. Then you have map theme. You can like changes changes the colors and everything. You have a lot of it here. Then you have uh, map tools. So when you're in the map, you can like select all these, like the weather, when it's connected to the phone, phone, photo, live, 
all these cool fun stuff but we keep most of them on there then you have map layers up ahead places traffic so like you can see we don't really use trip log because you know we don't really need it then what you have here is auto zoom which is enabled it will like automatically zoom to know what you're seeing to like show you what you need to be seeing so and um, then you have my maps so you can see um this thing update maps just takes you back to the updates but then uh this is all the maps that we have you can see all canada and mexico and all us so you can do this canada will work take this to take this to mexico will work so that's actually really cool and it has four square and everything built in you have navig these are related items and you have navigation route preview calc uh avoidances you can do like that and then calculation mode how about that and then custom avoidances you can do like add avoid area avoid road and then toll roads all these things GPS simulator for indoor use, restricted mode, all those. And then when you press here, you can restore, but that's not what I'm going to do. Wireless networks. And that's pretty cool. And then you have driver assistance, audible alerts. So like when you come to all this thing, you can see railroad crossing, schools, curves, slower traffic. It's really cool stuff. Stuff. And then you have fatigue warning, suggests break on long trips, incident notifications. And you have all these. You have forward collision warning, Garmin real vision, um, go alert, lane departure warning. So then you have all of these wireless camera. You can set it up with a Garmin backup camera, dash cam. Camera placement alignment, you can see, but that's really just the stand under there. This is my little finger. Okay, there we are. So press done. Record audio. You have all these things. So now you can get the you have like all these traffic display brightness and everything. You can see that's pretty cool. You know, what I think. What would actually be best is if I go down to display color mode night. Oh, yeah, that's much better. So you can see that. it's automatic, really, but you can see now I set it at night. So now you have traffic. You have to connect it to like a traffic. Uh, you have to connect it to the phone. And units and time and all that and then language and keyboard so voice language you have all these but what you can do you can download more voices which i did which i did yesterday um this is the one i really like british english serena that's what i keep it at so over here keyboard language and everything so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you here. So you press view map, then you have speed and you have time. So over here at the time, oh, over here at the time, it would change to like, say, um, it would change to arrival time or anything when you're driving. And then settings, when you do that, you can see like all these things. This is what the tools are, map tools, like I showed you earlier. That's what you have to have there. Then apps. You have dash cam, but my memory card is full. Gallery, it says to make a memory card, uh, storage owner's manual, you can see that. Phone, no, so I don't wanna do that. Smart notifications, and then smartphone link, watch link, traffic, photo live, live track, backup camera. Voice command is something what this one has, which is actually really cool. So you can like control it. You can, so it's set at that. And trip planner, then you have four square. You have trip advisor, where I've been, last spot. 
So now what I'm going to show you is the vo the voice command thing. So here we are. Voice command. Say a command for additional commands. Say down. Well, this is British English. So now what I can do, I can say, um, find address. Speak an address in United States. 1450 Jayhawk Boulevard, Lawrence, Kansas. It's processing. Did you say 1450 Jayhawk Boulevard, Lawrence, Kansas? Yes. No matching address found. Select closest match. One. Would you like to begin navigation? Yes. In a quarter of a mile, turn right onto North Carlet Street. So yeah, so you can see that. So that's actually really cool. And then you have the route preview. They have speed limit, your speed, and arrival at 9 or 9 a.m. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the route here. So, then, uh, you and you here you have go home, saved address, recent. So I'm not going to go into recent because it's going to show everything, but it just shows you where you have been. And then you have go to categories. And gas, you have all these like these cool um, things. You can search with all these. And you have intersections, or in the intersections, all of these. You have coordinates to where you are. And then add a shortcut. You can add like a shortcut to like work or something. And now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the voice command again. So here we are voice command. Voice command. Say a command. Find a category. Speak a category. Gas stations. Searching for gas stations. Select a line number. Two. Would you like to begin navigation? Yes. So you can In see. a quarter of a mile, arrive at Speedway on the right. So you can see that's actually pretty cool. All right, so that is actually basically it for this Garmin Drive Assist 51. That is basically all you need to know about it. Very quickly, it's actually a very good GPS. Um, if you need something for like, if you drive far distances and if you need, if you drive a lot, this is a good GPS and it saves you like lots of money from the free map updates and since your phone like you you don't have a dash cam you do have a camera on your phone but you can be recording and uh using the gps on your phone at the same time so this does save money from data and the map updates and yeah that is the garmin drive assist 51 <laughs>